Hello, so you are a Java developer and you decided to produce microservices. Then you have many choices on your hands. You can choose between Spring Boot, you can choose Micronaut, or you can use Microprofile. I will assume for this video that you know what Microprofile is, but you don't know yet how to use it. So this video is for you, because starting from today, I will present a series of videos showing Microprofile APIs. For today, I will start with the Microprofile config API, because every application needs to be configured. An application needs to have configuration about password, usernames, topics, URLs, and so on. If you want to know more about this specification, follow me. To demo Microprofile Config API, I will start by creating a Microprofile project. You can come here if you want to create your Microprofile project. You can come to the Microprofile website, select Starter, give a group ID, I will use here con.rafabene, config demo, select the Microprofile specification that I want to use. It will make uh, the list of the APIs available. Uh, I will select Helidon and Java 11 and config API. Let's download this project, extract the file, and then open this project here in Visual Studio Code. So to use Microprofile config API, we have at least two ways to get a value, a configuration value. We can inject the value by using the config property annotation, or we can use the config object to get the value. Let's run this project to have, a, to have an idea how that works. So I will start by packaging my project. And now I can run the project with java-jar. So if I open here the project, I will see the config endpoint where I can see the injected config value. And it, is, it will say, injected by CDI injected value. Where that value comes from? Well, the specification, if we take a look here, at the microprofile projects, we can find here the Eclipse microprofile config page. You can get configuration from system properties, from environment variables, or from, meta, or from the file metainf microprofile config properties. Let's take a look here on our project and we can see inside metainf folder microprofile config properties the injected value. Of course, that can, that's a string, but there are embed converters. You can use, for example, here a boolean value and inside here you can transform that in a boolean. Okay, let's re repackage our application and rerun. Refresh our page and we can see true. It has been converted to a boolean. But suppose that I don't want to do as I did, repackage my application. Well, I can use environment variables. So let me stop here the project and create environment variable with this key here, injected value. So, in so instead of a dot, I will use underline. So export injected value as false. And now running my project and refreshing the page, I can see false, the value has been overwritten. Or instead of using injected value, I can use the config object to get my configuration. So config value from config provider lookup. You can see here in my source code that I have a config provider that returns a config object and with the config object I can use here config get value like for example port number and I can hit return here like for example an integer that will return an int value with the port number. Of course this value is not available anywhere, so it will throw an error. So let's see that happening. Running the project, and if I get, there is an error saying that the request configuration for port number is not present. Again, I can create environment variable 
with that configuration. Export port number equals 8080. If I run the project, the config source will get the value there. Yeah, of course I didn't use that value anywhere, but the configuration is now inside this variable. Or even here, if I want to use another property, and if that property is not available anywhere, I can use a default value called a value that default. And also let me change that back to a string. Compile the project, run the project, and open here the injected value. Yeah, so we can see here, a value default. As you can see, it's really, really simple to configure your application using MicroProfile Config API. In the next video, I will present how to create a custom config source because uh, by default we have three different config sources. We have the system property, we have the environment variable or the microprofile config uh, file. We can create a custom config source that will bring the, that configuration from another resource. It can bring for, from a database, it can bring from another a remote file system. It's up to you. That's the flexibility of microprofile. To be aware of all those videos, I want to ask you to subscribe and also share this content with more friends. I hope that you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Bye bye.